Welcome everyone, I'm Crystal Shalee, your host for Popcorn Picks, as we preview what's playing in theaters this week. Grab a bag of popcorn, a drink, and I have a seat for you as we watch what's playing. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. November 30th, 1043, bright sunny day, innocent people. Truck approaches from the west entrance. Mate, mate, you can't park here! 10.45. No time to do anything about it. This is the most high-profile murder case in British history. You and Miss Howe are defending the accused terrorist from the government. And you're from the New York Times. I don't speak to journalists about trials relating to matters of national security. Do you know of any reason which would prejudice your ability to carry out this case? No, my lord. No, my lord, I know of no reason. There is some evidence against you which the prosecution believes should be kept secret from the public and from you. You broke into my chambers. I think you're mistaken. Claudia, we're being managed. Within six months, our client goes from driving a taxi to driving a brand new Mercedes, spending two grand a week. Where did all the money come from? The British intelligence brought him in as a double agent. He was supposed to lead them to the terrorist cell before the attack. And that's where it all went wrong. Prior to the bombing, there was no contact between MI5 and the defendant. Defense lawyers who ask the wrong sorts of questions, they're expendable. There are over half a million closed circuit cameras in London. I'm sure there are at least half a dozen watching me right now. There are people who really want a conviction here. So they kept her mouth shut. MI5 do not kill people on the mainland. And what the hell have you got yourself into? We're simply trying to defend our client. Dump your bag, dump everything. Get out of there, now. There are powers at play that neither you nor I may even hope to control. Where are you taking me? Leanne? Leanne, can you hear me? Burn, burn, what's going on? Are you okay? Have they hurt you? Ah! Put my wife back on! Is she alive? For now. She will remain that way as long as you follow my instructions. Drive. I know who you are. You have a beautiful wife. And an ability few others have. your wife back I'm going to make you an offer what is he after I don't know do exactly as I say and your wife lives she's beautiful refuse or get caught the game's over she dies the clock is ticking what happens when this is done why would he even give her back to you Seems like an obvious choice to me. Hold on! But I give you a moment to think about it. I'm not dying for you. I need to be told that she is all right! And when this is gonna be over! Your answer, Mr. Magna. Oh, my wife's back. The band that lost on the X Factor. Selling out their entire tour in hours. 
Because of you, we're number one in 37 countries. We never expected any of this to happen. When I was little, I knew that I wanted to entertain people. Wherever I went, my dad just to tell people that I could sing. At school, I was always that guy to make people laugh. I used to get kicked out of class for singing Irish traditional songs. It'd be like three in the morning, and I'd be singing like top of my voice. That was where it kind of started. Oh, baby, baby, don't you know you got what I need? Looking so good from your head to your feet. I don't know if you could have more of a dramatic life change. Just look at that. Like, it's absolutely amazing. We tried to stay away from the typical boy band thing. Like choreographed dance routines. Okay, on the top. <laughs> We're normal people doing this abnormal job. They're a bit tight. <laughs> <laughs> They always make fans laugh. <laughs> I know they love me, even they don't know me. We are so thankful. This is a teamwork between us and them. The fans were the ones who made up their minds that this band was going to be huge. The hardest thing about the travel is missing home. We just come from normal working class families. You know the stand up boys? I want a Louis yeah. one. I can just go and say goodnight. That's my favourite hair on Liam. I miss my son so much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> If I let you know Hello, sunshine. I know you always used to say, I'll get your house when I'm older. For you. Congratulations. Thank you. <gasps> it's lovely. Oh, thank you for what you've done for us. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> well, get off the phone then. Before I start crying. We're going to a bakery that I used to work in. Barbara! Hey! It's nice spending a bit of time with people who know what I'm actually like. Oh, She's the one who used to pinch love? my bum on a Saturday. Yes, I did. Look at us. <laughs> when you come somewhere completely new, it's really exciting. Mm. What is it? Miso soup. Miso yeah. soup. And you pour it into mm -hmm. your razor. No, I think you drink yeah. it. Yeah. You drink yeah. it, you drink yeah. it, you drink yeah. it. Make some noise! As a group, you've always got people to share your experience with. Nothing to see here, sir! They're not wrapped up in everything. Hey, keep their lens up here. <laughs> Just five normal lads having the time of their life. We love you, One Direction! Join us next week for another episode of Popcorn Picks.